Hello and welcome back to another episode of Xenonauts 2. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind-ish playthrough of the hardest difficulty of Xenonauts. So far we are doing well I would say but Xenonauts is always good for that sweet sweet sucker punch that will teach you a valuable lesson and one of those valuable lessons could be don't fuck around with enemies that are too strong. Uh, unfortunately this is a blind playthrough so I have no idea how strong the enemies are that we're fighting against. The last time that we have seen the cleaners they were formidable foes but eliminating this here, eliminate a VIP, would substantially weaken, uh, weaken them in North America and would actually help us. So time for the cleaner cell cleanup. A lot of cleaning in that and we're bringing a good team same layout that we had uh, so far I think if it uh, ain't broke don't fix it I think overall it worked very well so far so let's commence uh, the tactical battle all right we landed so we got a need to eliminate or capture the enemy leader within seven turns. And as always, things against the cleaners aren't as easy as you might expect. So we start out with three different directions, left, straight or right. I think we need to pick two out of three. Maybe we're going to do something along the lines of a little bit left and a bit straight ahead. Okay, that's one. That is two. We just need vision at the moment. That is number three. Okay, let's push forward. Short double check, nothing there. Okay. Switch to pistol for the overwatch. Good, we could use this container here maybe to have some high ground for the snipers. It's nicely down to the south. Oh wow, that's a huge map. How am I supposed to traverse all of that in seven rounds? You know, sometimes I wonder what the game is thinking and if it is thinking at all. And I don't mean that disrespectfully, but maybe this mission isn't yet for us maybe I'm just again trying to kind of <coughs> strong arm my way through content that shouldn't be ready but the last cleaner uh, mission already was ultra rough all right Tony here And we got Dilly. Dilly, do me a favor and please place that beautiful smoke over here. Thank you. That'll help us. And where else do we not want to get shot from? I would say I don't want to be ambushed from here. Good, so the smokes are essentially 
making sure that we're not being hit from a certain side. It just reduces aim too much. And that's the first turn. We haven't even spotted any of the cleaners. I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad one, but if I have seven turns and this is going as slow as what we've seen here, it's going to be a problem. Okay, there's another cleaner there. Mm. And another one. Don't underestimate them. These guys are tough. Okay, we need to open this up. There's really no way around it. One hit, two hits. Okay, grenade launcher, just fantastic for what it's supposed to do. Now, in order to not have that bad of a vision, let's illuminate the area. There you go. Forty-nine percent. Oh, because there is cover in the way. That's so cute. Yeah, let's still take the shot. Nice. Good. That takes care of the cover. Speaking of which... That also takes care of the cover. Nope. Uh, that was not successful. But it, I mean, overall, it was a successful attack. Missed. Okay. You don't really understand why. Good. That guy is going down and this is far out of uh, range. Which means we need the help of snipers in order to get this guy down. Move him to here. And we cleared one side. Moving up. Good, we got two very, very good shots there. Not good. Well, we will suppress this guy. Little flashbang. Hopefully he learns his lesson. Let's suppress the other guy. Or just absolutely maul him so that he he's dead. I like it. Which brings us to Dilly G. One little shot. One little kill. Actually, quite a good turn. One, two down, three down, four down, five down, and one guy is suppressed. Plus, we do have a good superiority on uh, on the rooftops uh, here good good uh, aiming angles so it went from zero interaction with enemies to a lot of interaction with them
Interesting. <clears throat> they keep on coming. Very nice. That's one. And that's two. Good. Just need to get all of the clutter out of the way. There we go. Once clutter is out of the way. <laughs> we have three shots with our laser. Nice. Moving on a bit more forward. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, not exactly helpful. Tony kills the guy. We hunk her down. And I would say we are slightly going back. And hunk her down as well. Need a bit of healing there. Okay, this guy took some damage. Followed up by, the, by a mild suppression. Was clearly not successful. Followed up by the G, the Dilly G. You can trust in the G. Moves to here. Oh, can't crouch. That's not good. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, but we killed a lot. And the G did a good job here. We'll get him up to here next turn. Okay, that's turn three, and it still feels like a pretty rough battlefield. Wait, 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 that was the sectored. Maybe that's the commander. Maybe that is the commander. Good, big fat reload. Followed by a nice little flop of a grenade and some more light. Oh, look at you. He might be the boss here. Removing cover. Okay, we do have free line of sight. I love it. 100%. Oh, I took it like a champ, unfortunately. The G gets up here. Still has 43%. 
Ah. Fortunately, he moved, and once the sniper moves, it's more difficult for them to hit. We go out, there are people that want to shoot us from downtown. I don't like that. Insufficient ammunition. No, we need to reload. Good job. Let's take a quick shot. Hmm. Can't do that. Okay, well, for starters, let's remove the last cover. Well, there's always one more cover, isn't there? <laughs> I hope that we're okay on this side. Got more explosives. And I would like to bring them over. Good, end of turn. That was turn number four. I think we might have found the commander. And some more enemy goons that are trying to help him. Commander just continues to stay there. I tell you what, if that's the case, uh, the sniper, he takes it like a champ. What is he made of? Delhi. Okay. We all have seen that he took three sniper shots, right? And no one is suspicious that that might not be a normal behavior. All I'm saying is, this guy looks sus to me. Eats shots uh, for breakfast. Whilst the others are simply dying. He is not having any of it. Alright, remove cover. More laser. Two more laser shots and he's still standing. What is even happening? Anchor down. Let's suppress him. Nope. We've successfully suppressed our guys, though. The commander just man modes it and says no fucks were giving that, uh, given that day. Okay, well, we've, we've unloaded into him... 
two sniper shots, two laser shots, explosions, and last round he had another sniper shot. But he does simply not care, as he seems to be unbothered by how much anyone shoots at him. Someone shoots from down there, that's a problem. But we're starting with a G. Oh. Okay, now we need to reload. I, what is even happening? One hit. And a kill. Good. That side is clear. Okay, we killed them. Another hundred percent. Okay. One more shot. While be inaccurate. And we need to heal. Can't let our sniper friend suffer like that. Hunkering down. All right, who has not wor uh, worked for their money yet? Two bursts, none of which hit. I don't want to get anywhere close to this guy. More explosions in the background, which the game apparently doesn't like that much. How can Xenonauts of all games start to stutter? Alright, it's official guys. I got the first black screen of Xenonauts 2. Alright, replayed and reloaded the same uh, turn. Uh, unfortunately, the grenade this time went wild over here and we got this guy revealed other than that same guy died here same guy died here we healed our sniper and he still took two sniper shots and another laser shot apparently this commander is just too strong he now decides to fuck off leaving a lot of blood behind well thank you And, of course, we are now seeing reinforcements because it is time unit 7. Round number 7, rather. Okay, enemy spotted there. The G needs to reload. Our other sniper, Tony, needs to reload. Just all around a bad turn. Commander's now out of uh, range. That's not good. We're killing whatever we can before reinforcements are coming. I'm not sure if I want to push in, to be entirely honest. 
what we can do is we can use smoke grenades in this direction and somewhere up here if needed definitely down there that blocks off <coughs> The right hand side we do have no high explosive grenades anymore can't remove any cover because we don't have the time units to do that Giving up on that flank, focusing on the center. And that's unfortunately, I think the reality is that is that. Not much more that we can do. Reinforcements will be coming. <clears throat> and if, if uh, that sector commander continues to simply stay there and do nothing, then we do have a problem. Okay, these must be the reinforcements, and we're already taking the first bit of damage. Uh, nice little smoke grenade here will do the trick. This here can be sealed off. It's a contaminated area now. Snipers are ready and back. We need to get rid of the cover. Which luckily, JP Pauly is more than capable of doing. And we're now entering really far short territory. He still gets hit, but he does not care. How? How many hit points does that commander have? It seems wild what I'm seeing. Good enough. Straight shot. Huh. Maybe not good enough. More reinforcements. We're hunkering down. Luckily, the smoke is actually quite helpful. Some indirect damage. And listen, the guy is too far away. And he's also in a well hidden area. Still trying to push, but the game really doesn't make it any easier for us. Okay, well that's it. Can we please kill that specimen? He took overall eight or nine sniper shots. Three at least shots of uh, the um, of the laser rifles. And he overall just ignores any form of damage apparently why based on what 
He's not even having that much of an armor, really. Reload. Triple shot. He's suppressed. Okay, that's good. That's a start. Right there. The guy needs to die now. Come on. Daily. Watches it. Can't uh, blame him. Oh, this is a cross map shot. Tony. What? How? Like, what does that even mean? He is taking damage. He's standing in his own pool of blood. Am I the only one that's finding this suspicious? Oh, now he goes down. Sure. Sure. Okay. Let's get the F out of here. Yeah, Zoe gets in. Okay, the shields theoretically could uh, flee, but we're not going to do that. Finally, that enemy leader is eliminated. So next turn, it's just running away, really. More enemies. And a little bit more damage. Shield is gone. We don't want to overstay our welcome here. That will cover us. The G is moving in Tony our second shield spots an enemy positions here so that we can intercept if needed yeah not happening any any shot in this direction would not happen And we're almost out of here. One more turn and we're good. This guy just runs into the smoke like an idiot, but okay. Too much smoke between him and us. He now took 15 stun damage just from standing in there, plus the, I think, 10 that he took for running in. Good job. And that means we are moving the F out of here. Oh. Okay, a little bit of maneuver critic. Whatever that commander guy was, 
he had like a thousand one hundred hit points at uh, fields. We had ten sniper shots, three or four laser shots. Mind you, every laser shot reduces armor by fifteen. So unless he has like an unremovable armor, uh, that uh, all of that would have been gone, long gone. And then two shots from a machine gun. How? Oh, and an explosion on top. So how is anyone standing after that? Plus, good joke, the game suggests we might want to capture him to extract additional intel. Yeah, I don't think that that is going to work. Not with 11 points of stun damage. So unless we find a massive stun gun that we can put onto our Sky Ranger, like one of those rail guns, then I don't think that we can stun this uh, this guy. We got a lot of promotions and Shattered Realm uh, killed four or more on one mission. Good job, man. We killed 13 enemies. And there were still a few more left over. And think about it, we were only nine. So we were fighting definitely at a disadvantage. Overall, a good mission. But I must say, a bit close for comfort. Like, that was not good. In terms of engineering, okay? So what are we dealing with? We have more precision lasers that are coming in and a laser machine gun times two that is coming in. And I think we need to, we really need to wait for that. It's just crazy how good the lasers seem to be. And maybe we should then afterwards go for Elenium power to get kind of the big fat guns. There we go, heavy, heavy laser weaponry. Laser cannon vehicles, laser auto rifle vehicles, laser lance and laser battery upgrade. So we're starting with uh, linear power. Out of curiosity, second workshop is done in a few days. So, accelerated cannon or laser lance. Oh, that would be nice. Getting laser weapons. That would also be good. I like it. So we definitely need more production to kind of do all of that. Question is, are we going to go and do that here again? I think we need a small break from uh, them. Got ourselves a missile battery. I like that. Now, the question is, do we build another one? How much are they? 200 a pop. Uh, we want to get more engineers and then we want to build something more. I think we're good for now. On the other hand, two missile batteries. Oh, insufficient power once again. Oh, boy. Um, are we going to go for another generator? That's 360,000 left. 
Yeah, we want to build out anyways. Good, so this will substantially upgrade our power capacity. I like the adjacency bonuses. Uh, they are a nice way of letting you really think about your base. And that cluster of four has a lot of adjacency bonuses. Good, we're now really working on that laser machine gun. We got the laser snipers done. So now two laser machine guns. And very soon, I think we can hire more engineers. Yep, one more day. And then we can also get the laser for the the laser for the ships, uh, for the interceptors, rather. Uh, workshop. We wanted more engineers. Hire engineers. That will push our living capacity to the maximum, but that's okay. I think we're good. We have enough soldiers at the moment. What's available 10,000? Yeah, mm hmm. Okay, well, we might need to sell a few things yet again. That's a medium UFO. Can we get that one down? Or are we going to lose our jets in trying to do that? Hmm. Well. Center on UFO. Launch interceptors. They are okay from a health perspective. Uh, am I going to regret that? Well, let's try to get it down. Oh, okay. So that way only one of our jets is in danger. Problem is this guy has a nice little back rear angle. That trick was good. Now oh, let's just not get into that back rear. That wasn't bad at all. We most certainly cannot get a second one of them down unless I'm really gambling and uh, going to roll the dice. But we got one down, which is good. Let's take a look at our soldiers. One of my favorite pastime activities. Natalia, still injured. Could take Enders instead. And Uncle Nuber, the Gren uh, Grenadier, definitely injured. 
Yeah, I think we're going to unassign and Ander Anders is going to come with us. JP Pauly and Anders are in the front rows. That's what I like to see. So got those nice little stun guns, but we haven't shot a single time yet. But we've used a lot of the explosives, so I can already say that they work. Flashbang was also instrumental, so I like that setup. Laser rifles, totally good. We're not yet done with laser machine guns, unfortunately. Actilius might go in with a little bit less ammunition. I think we're still fine. If you're single shotting, it's okay. The heavy weapons are so good. I totally like them. Getting one more grenade in. And finally our snipers. So let's get rid of that and instead enjoy the new really well placed weapon. Unfortunately only three shots. That's a slight problem with uh, the laser weapons. The reloading will become a greater issue. But I think the sniper weapons overall, if we compare them, similar damage, but way more armor reduction lower weight as well so that's not bad i like the accelerated rifle as well i have to wonder though should we get a third sniper instead of uh, something else uh not sure the heavies were good so far the mix actually is good. Two snipers seem to be fine. I'm wondering if three snipers would just overload it a bit too much. There are situations where uh, I find myself wanting to have three snipers, but then again, the heavies are doing a really good job. Like your heavies and uh, riflemen are essentially your base infantry, and that's not bad. We could, theoretically, specifically with 80 accuracy, make uh, Jim another sniper. Let me think that through. If we had 10, I would definitely add another sniper. But we need two shields, because oftentimes the shields are getting destroyed, and then the second one is good. Does any of the shields have enough carry capacity for a sniper afterwards? Like, could we free up 20 weight is the question. Hmm. Potentially here with Pauly, he has a lot of strength. Which would really be interesting, I mean, he could then switch around, like if we do something along the lines of this, yeah?
that would allow him to basically place his weapon oh, take the place his shield and his weapon and take the nice little accelerated sniper rifle and shoot someone in the face or we're having more explosives Yeah, I almost think that this year is the better choice. Good. I think for now we need to bury the dream of a third sniper. But it might come in the future. In the near future. Okay, well, listen. It was a successful mission. Thanks for watching, guys. Overall, really, really appreciate uh, the viewership and specifically your interest in Xenonauts 2. And uh, we're going to see each other in exactly two days when we continue this playthrough. Take care and goodbye.